Hi, I'm Sheila Shemay. Welcome to my channel. And um, I want to talk about the hard candy um, eyeshadow palettes that's in the tin box like this. I want to do my review and my thoughts on these palettes. Um, I've been using them for about a week and a half now. And really, to be honest with you, I knew that uh, my opinion on these eyeshadows from the day that I bought the first palette, which was the Sassy Eyes, is the first palette that I bought. Um, I want to give you my review and my thoughts on these palettes. First of all, I give you a little bit of an idea. All of them has something different, I think, on the back. Maybe not. No, they all have the same thing on the back. Just different eye looks for different packaging, okay? This one right here is the Sassy Eyes for the Sultry Eye Look. And what it says, the Hard Candy Sassy Eyes Eyeshadow Collection is your first... Is your... What it says is that the Hard Candy Sassy Eyes Eyeshadow Collection is your one stop for a complete sultry look. It includes nine professional coordinated eyeshadows, our best selling eyes, the Limit Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer, a mini Take Me Out Liner in Soy, and a dual ended eyeshadow applicator, all housed in a reusable collectible tin. This palette also includes an instructional card and three start to finish looks appropriate for any occasion. This is how it looks on the back. It has a, a day look right here, how you can obtain a day look. It has an evening look on the back, how to obtain a evening look and how to obtain a drama look, okay? So that's really convenient. You do have a pamphlet that comes inside like this one. It belong is it is <laughs> it is placed right here in this spot, but I uh, took the pamphlet out and just put the part where it says what the names of the shadows are. Like all shadows in these pamp all shadows in this palette have a name. As you can tell, like this color right here is called uh, Innocent, okay? And it just goes across. Now, this is a day look here. This one is this three, the three colors right here. The three colors here is a day look, okay? This is middle section is a drama look this section right here is a an evening look so you can use the shadows according to what they um picked out as to colors to use for whatever look you're going for day evening drama or you can mix and match okay but they do have names and i just uh, take the name of the shadows inside the palette. It does come with a mirror. It does come with this primer by Hard Candy. And you do get a um, an applicator, sponge applicator. And you do get that eyeliner called um, Take Me Outliner in Soy. You do get an eyeliner. But just to speak my opinions on these products okay um i want to say that i feel like these palettes are good palettes okay i do feel like you can get a nice neutral natural eye look you can get a more uh bolder eye look and then you can get a real outgoing uh eyeshadow look as it states, you can do it. Now, um, I don't know about sticking to what they say about what colors to choose for what. You can do that, but I just mix and match and it just comes out the way that I want to. Uh, as far as the look. Now, the pigmentation on these are not bad. I'll show you here. I just swatched these first three shades here. That's them on my fingers. That's all the 
basic colors here. That's the shade Innocent, Sweetheart, and Social Butterfly. All three of those shades. There it is on my fingertips. I swatched them on my hand. Right there. That's without primer. Okay, that is without primer. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of the hard candy primer to my hand. Okay. And then I'm going to apply these uh, shadows on top of the primer. There's the primer. So I'm going to rub this across my hand. Okay. That's usually how I put on my primer. I dab it on. Just like that. Then I'm going to try this again with the primer. Here we go with the primer. Okay, as you see. Now the primer makes a great difference with it, you guys. But to me, either or way, the shadows stick out. Okay? The shadows are apparent, okay? Just to let you see that these shadows is good, shadows. Now, would I say they are just greatly, highly pigmented, like really, really pigmented? No, they're not. But are they super, super sheer where you cannot blend and apply the shadows to your eyelids? No, they're not. <laughs> you can apply these to your lids and you will get color. Okay? Just like I'll try some deeper tones. Now, those are all light tones. Now, look at these deeper tones. Look at that color payoff. Okay? I'll swipe them onto my hand. You do get color pay off this is the this is the reason for me doing this you do get color pay off let me get a wipe first of all another thing i want you to know is this this palette is only eight dollars okay and you get a primer you get an eyeliner you get these uh nine shades so, not to forget that this is an $8 eyeshadow palette. For that price, and then you have color payoff like this, I feel like these palettes are good palettes. That's my opinion. I am able to apply these shadows to my lid. I am able to blend the shadows out. That right there will let me know that the fact that the shadows are only eight dollars and i'm able to apply the shadows and i can see the shadows on my eyelids and i can blend the shadows the way that i want to that is a good eyeshadow in my opinion do they crease they don't crease on me the shadows do not crease on me now i do use the hard candy eye primer always use it I also add a concealer underneath before I use the hard candy eyelid primer I always put on a concealer on my eyelids because I have discoloration okay my eyelids are discolorated so I put on a concealer then I apply this hard candy eyeshadow primer just a little bit on top so when i blend the eyeshadows it will be smooth because i can't stand to blend anyway blending for me i get tired i just don't like to sit there and blend 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 so anything that will make blending easier i'm gonna do it so i do every time i use these uh eyeshadow palettes i do use the primer so just by saying that, using the hard candy, hard candy primer and also applying a concealer underneath the eyelid primer, 
These shadows, I do not have a problem with. I don't have a problem with pigmentation. I don't have a problem with blending. The eyeshadows goes on good. I do think these are great, cheap uh, eyeshadow palettes by Hard Candy. I think they did a good job with these eyeshadows. And I think they're worth the eight bucks. Actually, I feel like these eyeshadows are worth more than eight bucks. That is my opinion on these uh, eyeshadows. Now, the Natural Eyes. This is the Natural Eye Palette, just to show you. This is my favorite one because I love this shade called Chatty. And I love this uh, shade called Tease. And I love this shade called Frisky. And I love this shade called Mix. This whole palette, I love it. I love the shades. I love the all the shades that they decided to put in this palette. Now I'm going to show you the pigmentation in this one. There it is on my fingertips. Okay, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swatch these right here. You do get color payoff. That's without a primer. Okay, I'm just making a point that these eyeshadows do have color payoff. But they're not highly pigmented, but they have enough pigmentation where you can use these shadows and you're able to see them and that um, they're not just a sheer type of uh, eyeshadows. Um, just for instance, some are highly pigmented. That color right there, mix, that is highly pigmented. This color uh, called Frisky is highly pigmented. Um, this color right here called Girly is highly pigmented. Um, so it's like some colors, it's just like with any other eyeshadow palette. Some shadows, of course, the deeper tone shadows are going to have more pigmentation the lighter colors are of course are going to be lighter colored eyeshadows so i see these palettes as awesome palettes um the color payoff is good um for eight dollars you can't go wrong by those this is the smoky eyes palette uh this is the one that Actually, this is the shadow or the palette that I used to create this eyeshadow look. I used the color um, Ash and Smoke. Those two colors, Ash and Smoke. And I used this color called On Fire. And I used the, sh the shade called Exhale today on my eyes. And this is the color payoff that I got. Okay. I used it, and yes, I've been using them on a daily. Most of my recent videos you have seen, I have been using these palettes nonstop. I do like them, and I feel like the pigmentation is good. It's not great, great, great pigmentation, but it's good pigmentation. It's enough that I see the eyeshadow. It's enough pigmentation where if I blend the eyeshadow out, I can blend it without it just disappearing everywhere where you don't have any shadow on the eyelids. I don't have that problem. Now, I once again, I do use the Hard Candy Eyeshadow or Eyelid Primer. I do use this primer. So, I don't know if the primer is a major factor with using these eyeshadows from these palettes but i feel like even without a primer you can still see these eyeshadows so i just think the primer just intensifies the colors on the eyelids just like with any other eyeshadow palette if you use a primer it's just going to intensify the colors and make them pop so my opinions on these eyeshadow uh, palettes are a thumbs up. It's a good product by Hard Candy. Love these products. A good bit of new, a good bit of Hard Candy. A lot of Hard Candy products that have been recently put out on shelves for 
for sale that are new. They are good products, you guys. I recommend that you, um, if you can, if you have a Walmart nearby, check them out. I'm telling you these products are good and it's worth the money. Um, I feel like as far as these, as far as these palettes go, they do have good pigmentation. Um, they're not super, super pigmented, but they are pigmented enough that when you apply them, you will see them. That's what I have on my eyes right today. So yeah, I do like these palettes. I don't regret these palettes. Now they do go on a little bit powdery. Okay. As you can tell on my arm, they are a little bit powdery or whatnot. They go on a little powdery. They're not super, super smooth textured um, shadows. But let me tell you, you can use them and create some great looks, okay? I'm just telling you from what I've experienced and my thoughts on these products. Yes, the shadows are powdery, okay? They're not super smooth. But they do go on good. Uh, you can blend the eyeshadows out however you like to wear your eyeshadows on your eyelids. Um, and of course, the colors that they put in the palettes, I think, are a great selection of colors. I really do. Uh, this natural eyes, I think every one of the colors that they put in this uh, palette works together it creates a great look so yeah i love the colors i love how they just what color selection they chose for each palette i do like the colors just like in this sassy palette the same thing i love the purple and the taupey shades the peach shades the the light green shade i love everything the brown shade the a deeper purple shade. I do love the shades that's in these palettes. I do feel like they had a great selection. Now the Smoky Eyes palette is the only one that I have an issue with as far as the color selection. Now I don't have a problem with these two sections here. The colors on these two sections. Um, these colors here. The thing that I don't like about the Smoky Eye palette is the fact that they don't have a great transition color. You know, a color to begin with. Uh, there's not really a color you can start out with because you would think one of these would have been a transition color. This one will not work. To me, it does not look good as a transition color. It's like this olive green type of color. I would not use as a transition color. However, everybody's different. Uh, this, um, this shade called Exhale is more for a brow color or an eyelid color. This shade called um, Fume is like a, a light gray blue um type of shade um i would not use as a transition color but more on my lid and this color up here on the top which is called inhale it's like a very light um i don't know how to describe it it's like a very light silver taupey shade to me it has a little bit of brown in it but it's very light. I couldn't use that as a transition color. So I have a problem. When I use this palette, I have to use something else as a transition color. That's the only problem that I have with uh, this palette. And this is the only one that I have that problem. Because in the natural eyes, you have this shade called Chatty. This is a perfect transition color. This one right here is awesome this is a perfect brow bone highlight color it's just awesome this is my favorite the natural eyes neutral eyeshadow palette then comes second will be the sassy eyes you can use this shade which one of these you can use for transition color um you can use this shade called innocence as a uh, transition shade and of course, uh, as your brow bone shade, you can use um, Social Butterfly to highlight your um, 
brow bone if you like so yeah this is this comes second so natural eyes number one sassy eyes come second place and then smoky eyes come third because they just do not have a transition color in this palette in my opinion that's the only thing about this palette i do not like there's not a color to begin with which is the transition color just so you can blend all the colors together and it just comes just helps with um um with the whole um eyeshadow look you know the transition color the color to start out with it just doesn't have one that's the thing i don't like about it and i think they used too many uh they didn't put a neutral color on this side I feel like they should have used the neutral color so that you can use it as a transition color. All these colors I would only use on the lid. That's all I would use these colors for is on the lid. I wouldn't even put one of those colors in my crease. Okay. So yeah. And then these other colors to me are too dark for transition colors. Okay. That's my opinion. These are more for uh, the crease colors or the eyelid of uh, colors but as far as transition colors there's none in there so this one comes in third place so this is the one that i least i don't like as much but i like it but i just don't like it the most the most i've been using this smoky eyeshadow palette this week and i can tell just by the way that i use the colors and everything and how i put the colors together this is my least favorite one but it's still a good palette um so overall i would recommend the natural eyes and the sassy eyes palette more over the smoky eye that's my opinion natural eyes and the sassy the natural eyes and the sassy eyes is the best out of the three uh smoky eyes you have to just kind of make the shadows work because there's no transition color like i said and the colors they have too many lid colors in my opinion um, majority of these colors are for the lid and there's a there's some for the crease but majority is for the eyelid. There's no shadows to put up here for a transition color. And there's not really a shadow that really, really, really looks good on the brow bone. Because all these shadows to me are just way too light for the brow bone highlight. That's my opinion. It's just too bright for me. So yeah, this comes in number three. Uh, this comes in third place, but you know, it's all up to everybody. What one person think, like what I think, you might think something else. And who knows, some people might like the Smoky Palette over all three. Um, but in my opinion, the Smoky Palette is, comes third place. But I'm glad I bought it because I have all three palettes and I do like them. So yeah, would I recommend these palettes? Yes, I will. Do I think that they are worth $8? Yes, I do. Because you can blend these eyeshadows out. The colors are noticeable. And so that's all that matters when it comes down to eyeshadows. In my opinion, is that you're able to see the eyeshadows. And you're able to blend them out the way that you want to. So that you can create an, a great eye look on your eyelids. So that's all that matters. And for these shadows to be able to blend and you're able to see the eyeshadows then yes i would recommend these eyeshadow palettes so yeah that's my review and my thoughts on the hard candy um eyeshadow palettes that's in this tin and i do like the tin i like these some people say they don't like it i like it i love how i just love to hear them snap like this i just love the whole idea of it i even like to play with it like they cling on it's kind of cute when i um place them on my um when i place it on my vanity they all just kind of cling on to each other like this and that just makes uh organization a little bit i don't know i just like it you know 
to kind of cling on and it doesn't bother me that it's tin. It doesn't bother me at all. I like them. The main thing is what's inside the tin and that's the eyeshadows. And so, yeah, I love the whole idea of the whole thing. I love that it is like a tin box. Uh, it'll be easy to take around with you or take it to, with you if you have to travel. It's just a tin box and, you know, a little small box of uh, nine eyeshadows, a primer, an uh, eyeliner, an uh eyeshadow applicator a mirror and then the color names yes i love this whole palette so yeah okay that's my thought i would recommend those eyeshadow palettes they are eight dollars at walmart a piece so yeah you guys check them out so yeah that's my review my thoughts on these um hard candy eyeshadow um palettes that's in this 10 box sassy eyes new natural eyes the sassy eyes, natural eyes, and the smoky eyes. That's my review on these. So, you all, I hope you enjoy this review and my thoughts on these products. And, yeah, I'm going to let you go. So, you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. And remember, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>